can you use an iPad and your Apple Pencil, of course, as a digital planner? The answer is yes, you can. And in this video, I'll show you how. A digital planner is simply an electronic version of a traditional paper planner. I've seen many people who basically run their entire lives using daily planners. It's another productivity technique that helps you stay focused to your goals. But the setup process of such planners can really be tiring. But since everything is gonna be digital, we can actually get rid of the entire setup process. So in case you're new over here, hey guys, my name is Prithvi Raj. I'm an electronic music producer, a part-time gamer, and I also try to make videos. All right, so what device should you use? Ideally, an iPad works the best. You don't need the iPad Pro. You can just get an iPad Air with the Apple Pencil and it'll work just fine. If you are wondering about Android tablets, yep, you can use them as well. I recently reviewed this Xiaomi Mi Pad 6 and I actually like the Xiaomi Pen, to be honest. You can check out my full review if you're interested in that. But in short, Android tablets should just work fine. How digital planners basically work is that you have to import the PDF file of a template into your favorite notes app. It's not a built-in feature in such app. Although some of the apps actually offer you such templates by default but we'll talk about them later the most popular ones for the ipad are goodnotes 5 and notability but they both come with the advantages and disadvantages i will be using goodnotes 5 along with my ipad pro and the apple pencil for this one and the advantage of this is that goodnotes actually syncs with your icloud account and i can access my planner using my iphone as well our basic goal is to create a planner that will cover up all the aspects of our life all right so the first step to get started in the world of digital planning is to select your template you can get many free templates online based on what you're looking for if you are looking for an extensive planner then I suggest that you check out this planner by Paperlike. They have a calendar view so that you can manage your life week by week and month by month. It's a 400 page PDF so you know it covers it all. If you are using Notability, it also has a few templates by default. You can also download this template I created myself from the link given in the description. I wanted something simple and decluttered and everything in one place so that I don't have to just end up searching for it. The planner has a daily view, a weekly view as well as a monthly view but everything here is undated. Hence it's applicable for every month. Along with that I have also added an expense track as well as a habit tracker as I really use them in my day-to-day -day life. There is both light and dark versions by the way. You can get my template for only five bucks. It will support my channel directly and it will help me create more such videos for you guys. I've kept the price to five dollars so that it becomes affordable for everyone. I would really appreciate if you could get my template. It would really mean a lot to me. Else I'll leave a link to a free template in the description box below the like button as well and you can get started using that. Once you have downloaded your template, majority of your job is basically done. You don't have to deal with any of the setup process. So how do you get started in the world of digital planning. Let's take a look at the daily view as that's gonna be your most used page. You can set your highlight for the day. You often have only one single most important task for the day. The rest of your task can simply pile up in your to-do list. Having only one highlight is often more beneficial. You can actually get your job done by that way. It's best if you fill out this page the night before. That will help you stay a lot more organized. I've added this section for time blocking. I've talked about time blocking in many of my previous videos. This is a method I use myself and I really found it to be helpful. You basically have to plan out what you wanna do hour by hour. You won't be wasting time that way and you will be able to see when exactly you have some free time and maybe take a nap during that time. It's totally fine if you miss some time blocks. Our lives cannot be pre-planned totally so please don't feel bad if you're not able to keep up with your blocks. I believe in affirmations and positive thinking hence I added this block where you can add a simple affirmation to get started. In this weekly view you can perhaps add the highlights for each day in advance and then proceed to working on the daily plan for each day. Same goes for the monthly view. I added this so that you can get more of a clearer idea about how your month is gonna look like and as the name suggests the expense and the habit tracker are just the basic stuff. Now, the question that arises is that how do you end up following your planner? If you have been using digital or traditional planners for years, then this will not be an issue for you. But if you are someone who is new in the world of digital planning, then here is a quick trick for you. Take your iPad and open the planner every night. Even if you are not in a mood of planning for the next day, it's okay. Just take your iPad and open your planner. 90% of the time, you will be feeling guilty for not sticking to your own word. Hence, I recommend you at least open the planner every night. Just noting down your highlight for the next day will automatically make it a lot easier as you would have a clearer idea. Often our guilts make us do stuff we never thought we would have done before. Ever since I read this book by Tiago Forte called Building a Second Brain, I have been taking digital note taking and personal knowledge man quite seriously. If you are like me, then you would want to check out this video on the best note taking apps for the iPad by clicking here. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and I hope to see you there. I was so